Hi, this is Brian Wilson with the BFW Classroom. Today we're going to look at how to create a dual layered word list with Adobe Express. Now here you're going to see my original list is listed here. I took each word, uh, made them separate text files or text pieces, blocks, and then I made a single color for the inside and made an outline of white on each one. Uh, I layered them, I put them, uh, I aligned them to the right so that way you could do this. You could also do it to the left or to the center. I was hoping to make a sticker out of this, maybe use it for something on a, uh, on a computer. And then what I did was I made a double list and I also made a layer in between of an image that I had made. So here what you see is an image background that I had used. And what I'm doing here is that since I had two layers of actual words, I have the top layer with the colors on the inside and white on the outside. And the bottom layer is the exact same set of words, but all of the coloring is reversed. The colors are on the outside of them, as you can see here, and then the white is on the inside. Now for doing this, it's going to create a faux shadow, but the way the shadow is going to work is you take the two layers, sort of offset them either direction that you want to, uh, negative to the left or the right, negative up and down, uh, and then once you find sort of the way you want to, make sure you look at letters like E's and A's where you have the cross bars so that way they line up nice to create the shadow. Then in between the two layers, you take your graphic that you've already picked the color for, some kind of filter possibly, um, anything that you want to use here. I, I went back in, I dropped that original piece and I'm showing you here how you could import one of the backgrounds instead of the original piece. I love this French uh, astronomy map that is actually inside of the uh, galleries for Adobe. And then the layer I went through is I went ahead and picked two colors that come out of my branding piece. But what I wanted to do here is I've figured out that by using black and one of the brighter colors, like the cyan color that I'm using, you end up with a sort of dark tone to it. You can flip it back and forth, but it makes for a really nice textured shadow. So instead of having a black shadow for the words in the back, you have this textured piece that comes from the actual graphic overlay. Now here you see me adjusting the way that the graphic looks inside the box. I'm moving it around. Um, I'm actually changing the, the scale of it a little bit so that way it layers up a little bit better. It's in a square format as well. And then I took the piece and again, I'm messing around with the layers a little bit here so I can see how things look and make sure everything looks right. Now I'm going to go ahead and push it into the second layer. So the top layer is the colored words. The middle layer is the actual graphic. The layer behind it is the words themselves that I'm going to use for the shadow. Now once I push the shadow over to a multiply, it's going to create the actual, once I push the image over to multiply, pardon me, you end up having this whole dynamic of having the shadow created and then you want to take it and download it as a transparency. Now here you can't really see with the black background, so what I've done is I've loaded it again and it's loaded here on a white background. Now as you can see, the actual graphic itself has the words on the top. Again, the middle layer was that image, but now it has turned the back layer of the words into a shadow, a darkened shadow, and it's used that actual image as the dark, the texture on top of it. It's this amazing kind of play out um, to create that. And if you like what you've seen here, look in the show notes below to get a template that you can build your own version in Adobe Express. Again, this is Brian Wilson with BFW Classroom. Hope you enjoyed. Click that subscribe button if you did so you can follow my videos or check one of my other lists above. Thanks for watching.